Good morning my lovelies welcome and welcome back to the channel and welcome to today's video so in today's video i am going to be taking you around a tour of this brand new four bedroom fully detached house and this house is currently in the market for six hundred and seventy nine thousand pounds it is fully furnished inside but definitely the furnishings are not going to come with the house it's going to come as an empty house and so i'm going to take you around a tour of it it's in a brand new community there are 13 different other types of houses in case you um, like anyone so this is the entrance door so when you walk into the house this is the door from the from inside the house it has this glass in the middle and also the glass in the side and as you can see this is the stairways that leads upstairs okay it is a four bedroom house lovely spacing i actually really love this house so this is the four way or should i call it an entryway um so as you can see it is fully decorated i love some of the i love a lot of the decors that was put in the place it's so so it is well staged so when you walk in this is what the living room looks like The living room is of a very good size because we all know that the UK houses <laughs> are not so big but the size of the living room is okay. Not the biggest if you ask me but it's okay. So back on the entryway and straight into the kitchen. So this is the kitchen diner. So this area is a dining area and as you can see they already fixed a TV, mounted a TV on the wall so in case um, you want to do that to your own place you can also do that so that is the dining area and over here is the, um, they call it an half island or what they call that thing so where you can actually put your stool so this is the kitchen, the kitchen is quite big and I love the fact that a lot of the, um, util um, the amenities here are quite, you know, they are new and they are modern that's the english they are quite modern the fridge freezer is very very big so through the kitchen you find your way into the laundry room which also has a door that leads outside so this is the laundry room the laundry room is quite spacious it has an inbuilt laundry ma uh, washing machine while the kitchen also has an inbuilt um, dishwasher and a winery you guys can see the little wine fridge so over here is the um, backyard of, of the house it is quite big I'm not even gonna lie this is a good size of a backyard it is really really big and I love the fact that almost half of it is you know um, there is stone work so um, you won't be worried so much about water or grass so now let's get upstairs so I can show you the four rooms that is in the upstairs so this is what the stairways look like it is quite nice it has this very light grey color um, rug upstairs is fully rugged um, so when you get upstairs you get it to the landing the first door you see here by your right um, this is the primary suite I'm just showing you guys what the landing area looks like what the stairway area look like so when you come into this primary suite you find your, the first um, the primary um, you find the bathroom this has a stand stand shower stand alone shower and I love the chrome um, radiator you can also use that to hang your towels and all I love the fact that the the toilet seat is quite modern and the um, vanity area is good so moving on into the bedroom so this is the bedroom um, it is fully furnished like I said but when you get this place it's not going to be furnished of course so this is what the bedroom looks like this is the size comes with an inbuilt um, um, wardrobe and there's a space for you to hang your TV mm -hmm. 
also under the place where you can hang your tv you can put a chair there and use that for your makeup like a little study area a vanity area so moving out of this first um suite we'll go back into the landing and you find by this um door this is another suite so when you open you find this bathroom i love the lights they put there this is also a stand shower it's the same so now with this is a second suite the first one was a suite this one is also an end suite when you come out of the end suite you enter into the room this room is like a it's not a very big one so this might be for your kids um, you could use this as a kids room or your second room um, so from this room you can actually see the garden can you guys see how massive that garden is and you can see that a lot of constructions are also going up um, going on in the community it's a brand new beautiful beautiful community so this is what the space looks like it's not the biggest but i like the fact that they also make an effort to put in wardrobe so that um, at least you can have places to put your clothes so back on the landing area you enter into the third room as you can see this room has been staged as an office but if you want to use this as a bedroom it can also fit in like a single bed but it's currently being staged as a, as an office and I, love the, and I love the fact that it's also an in-suit. You can see that there's also a bathroom door there. So back into the hallway and go into the um, final room. I think this is the primary one. <laughs> I think this is the primary one. It's, this looks a bit bigger than the first one we saw. Um, meaning all the rooms are in-suit, which is really, really good. So this is what the room looks like. It is really nice i love the furniture i love the people who stage this place like the 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 items the furniture that they use to decorate is really really lovely there's a radiator behind the and um, close to the window and you can see that um there is chandelier but definitely it's not going to come with the house so don't get your hopes too up you're going to get them yourself um so as you can see this is the um fine this is like the third bathroom in this particular house it's also an in suit i love the fact that it's a standing shower and the chrome radiator um the vanity area i love the mirrors that they put um it's quite lovely to be honest i'm not even gonna lie i love the fact that it's tiled fully tiled from floor to ceiling tile that is really nice so we're back on the um entryway So this room is where the boiler is as you can see this is a very very huge boiler it's just like the one that is in my current house um it's so big so it would be able to take all the members of the family if everybody needs to bathe or do something there will be a lot of hot water to go around so i'm just showing you um this other bedroom so this is what the other bedroom looks like it's quite be beautiful all the bedrooms are so beautiful now okay yeah i showed you this house is a four bedroom house and a study so that room that i told you guys that is like a room it's you can actually use that as a study why this room faces the the streets like the the front of the house you can see other houses it's such a very beautiful community you guys it's so so beautiful i love that it has a stand if a rainfall they call it a rainfall shower so <laughs> the water will just be descending on you very very softly it's really cute it's really beautiful i must say so this is the family bathroom as you can see it has a bathtub because sometimes you just want to soak yourself in the shower so you have the luxury of doing that it has a bathtub which is really really lovely it's quite spacious it's 
anyway it's spacious enough for a uk house you get what i mean so it's beautiful <music> So this is what the house looks like. I love the fact that there is a window on the stairway so you can actually bring in a lot of lights. Thank you so much for watching. Please, if you enjoyed watching, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe to my channel. Turn on your post notifications and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys and do stay blessed.